guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, congratulations on getting your Canadian PR. I am so happy for you. And now that you've received your Canadian PR and you've got your ECO PR, you don't really need to wait for the physical PR card to apply for your new SIN number. The SIN number that you have when you come to Canada as a student or on work permit starts with nine which means it's a temporary sin. The moment you become permanent resident, you get eligible to have a permanent sin number which does not start with the number nine. Uh, this has a lot of benefits, especially if you're planning to apply for mortgage for a house or you want to apply for a line of credit. Unlike as in your temporary sin where you have to continuously go and renew it according to the validity of your permit. Once you get this, this is valid. You don't need to renew it. it does does not come with an expiration date and normally the physical PR card according to the current processing times it's taking around 77 business days so there's no need for you to wait that long you can apply for your new SIN number with your ECO PR and in today's video I will show you exactly how you can do that you don't need to go and stand in long queues in Service Canada you can do it in 10 minutes from the comfort of your home online. But before we start this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. So we will start by searching apply for SIN online on Google. Then open this link. Now you will come to this page. So scroll down further. Now here you need to select you are applying for yourself. If you're applying on behalf of someone, you can select that too. Now select your status in Canada. So now that you've got your ECOPR, you will select you are a permanent resident. Then you will select how would you like to apply? You will select online. And here you will get a list of all the documents that you will need. So you will need one primary identity document. So you can either use your PR card or the ECOPR that you'd have received. And the next one is a secondary document. So you can either submit your passport, your driver's license or any provincial ID that you have. And if you have any document which has a different name from that on your SIN application, then you need to provide a supporting document for that as well. Now, once you do that, click apply online. Okay, then you will get to see this. So ensure that you have scanned copies of all the documents. And as it says here, it will get processed within five business days and you'll receive a response by mail within 10 business days from the date of application. And if you really need it urgently, you can always go to a Service Canada Centre. Now they will give you around 45 minutes to complete the entire application. So make sure that you do all of this quickly. You can read the terms and conditions, scroll down, select I agree to the terms and conditions. I have read and I accept the privacy statement. Now, who are you applying for? You're applying for yourself. Next. Now, even if you have a SIN before getting your PR, it will be a temporary SIN that starts with nine. So right now we are applying for a fresh SIN number for you that does not start with nine anymore. So we'll have to still fill up the application. So select status in Canada. You are a permanent resident. Uh, here, I highly recommend that select by mail because I initially applied and I selected online. However, when they sent me the email with my login details, I was not able to access it. And when I called them, they said that because my old SIN number is associated with my old GC key account, that's why there was some issue and my account was showing as locked. And then again, I had to go online and request for another copy by mail. So personally, I would recommend to select by mail. It was much easier the second time and I received the SIN number via mail within, I think, seven business days. Okay, now you select your language of correspondence, English. Uh, I would highly recommend to check this box so that you receive any notification whenever there's an update on your application. So once you go ahead and enter your email address, you need to verify it as well. So click continue and you will get a verification code. So let's enter that. Once that's entered, you'll come to this page. Now here you need to enter your first name as it appears in the document. If you have any other given names, you can mention that too. 
what is your current family name this is your last name so whatever is your last name enter that what was your family name at birth so in case if you've changed your last name like especially uh, a lot of people when they get married they take on their spouse's last name so if that is applicable for you you can mention your family name at birth if not you can just write the same name again if you've ever used any other family name you can enter that here okay in which country were you born so select the country in which province or territory were you born uh, here you just need to go ahead and type it now enter your date of birth what is your gender are you a part of a multiple birth if no just select no have you ever had a sin here you will select yes he, and here you will go ahead and enter whatever was your temporary sin that started with nine now select the type of application you wish to submit you will do so here you will select change the status on a sin record because you are changing the status of your sin then you will do next okay now enter your phone number here now here you need to enter your mailing address make sure that you are entering everything correctly because this is where your new sin number will be mailed to you so check i have verified the above address then do next now here you need to go ahead and submit your documents now we will come here and select confirmation of permanent residence copr issued by ircc because we are still waiting for the pr card right now you'll go ahead and upload the document to add files after that okay now as you can see this has been uploaded now enter the date where you got your confirmation of permanent residence so i'm just selecting this now you need to go ahead and submit the secondary document so depending on which document you have you can either upload your passport your driver's license or any other canadian issued government id so i'm just selecting driver's license make sure when you're uploading your driver's license you upload both the front and the back here you can upload multiple files it doesn't have to be one file so make sure you're uploading both the front and the back of your driver's license so i've uploaded one file now when i need to add the second one i can just do add files once that is done you can always scroll down here as you can see all the documents that you've uploaded will be visible you may require supporting documentation if you have any document that has a different name than the name that you have used on your sin application so if all your documents have your name exactly how it is on this application you don't need to give any supporting documentation now if you select no to any of these see it asks you to go ahead and submit a supporting document that proves that you know both these names are yours make sure that all the documents are uploaded now do next once that is done you need to go ahead and enter your parents name and their last name if you have only one parent registered on your birth record you can select that otherwise you can enter details of both your parents if you have an additional parent you can select i wish to register one more parent or two more parents now i will do next so review all your details to make sure that there are no errors whatsoever write your name here again check this box i certify that the information provided on the application form is true accurate and complete and click on submit the moment you click submit you will also receive an email confirmation that your application has been submitted i'm not going to submit this because i don't want to create extra load for service canada thank you so much for watching till the very end i do hope that you found this video helpful and if you did do let me know in the comment section below or if you have any doubts or questions also ask me in the comment section below i am usually quite active and i try my best to answer all your doubts and questions and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye bye